This is Louise for MMA Crazy, and we're here with Neil Siri. Uh, Neil, what did you think about coming to Rotterdam for this fight? I didn't think it looked like this. <laughs> it's a beautiful city, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm always good to go anywhere to have a fight. <laughs> Who wouldn't um, get the fight at top, uh, top uh, 10 lad, so. So you're fighting Horiguchi, uh, top five, I think he is. I think he's ranked number five. Yeah. Um, what did you think of him as an opponent then for you? Um, he's a dangerous opponent. He's really a dangerous. You know, he fought Demetrius Johnson. He's he's high level striker. He's um, the way he moves. He's elusive. He doesn't get hit that often. You know, so it's a tough, tough test. You know, but we're in this game for tough, tough tests. You know. So how have you been preparing for someone like Horiguchi? The same way as I always did. You know, we just torn up and whatever's going down at the gym, mm -hmm. we get it done. So nothing specifically changed in your fight camp this time? No, definitely not. You know, I still sparred the same boxers and went to the gym and done the same rounds with all the other lads that I always done away, you know. So I didn't really change things up too much. Done a little bit more strength and condition. But um, no, everything's dead the same, you know. I'm happy with my preparation. So uh, how do you think your stars are going to match up then? Um, it's hard to say, you know. He looks to strike, but he also nobody likes to be hit either, you know. So when I, I've seen before in other fights that when people throw their punches, he's not there, you know, because he's he's always in and out, you know. He's that crazy machida sort of style. So, um, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to get um, into a fight with him, you know, because he's not there. So I just have to have to make it dirty, basically. So have you watched tape on him then? Have you studied him? Yeah, it's probably the first time I've ever actually watched. Right. Obviously because of, you're watching the UFC and he fought Demetrius Johnson and when they're in the same way category as you, you know, you're taking interest, more interest in, in them fights, you know. Mm -hmm. I've seen them fighting um, Chico Camus as well. She had a good, he had a good win there in his last out. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've watched a good bit on so uh, how do you think it's going to unfold then on, on Sunday? Only time will tell, you know. I can't, I can't uh, give a prediction or any stuff like that, you know. I just, I just turn up and fight and whatever happens, happens. Having a win over Horiguchi, who is obviously ranked number five, how much would that mean to you and, and how important would that be for your career? Um, it means the same as all the rest of the wins, you know. It's, it's, it's a win and it's a move on to the next opportunity that arises you know obviously he's top five and he's highly ranked and stuff like that the whim probably would mean a bit more but i'm not really thinking about stuff like that at the minute i'm just thinking about fighting were you surprised at all to have such a highly ranked fighter as your next opponent yeah i was i probably came out and i said to myself maybe a lot of people don't want to face him you know because he as I said, he's elusive. He's, his cage knowledge is really good. He's, his footwork is really good. He's very hard to, to catch. His wrestling is underestimated. You know, his jiu jitsu is underestimated because he hasn't got to use it that, that much, you know. So maybe a lot of people didn't want to face him, you know. I got a call, asked, did I want to fight? And I took a fight. Do you see any uh, like uh, weaknesses, maybe, or, or, or any holes? Well, no, I don't really see any holes in this game because he lasted five rounds with Demetrius Johnson. Mm -hmm. And if Demetrius Johnson can't pick holes in your game, you know, it's, um, you obviously haven't got any, you know. I think he's just a well-rounded MMA fighter and he's, he's ranked where he is because of that. Mm -hmm. So what kind of... Uh... You want yourself off, don't you? No. <laughs> well, I was going to say, you know, what kind of advantages do you think you might have over him? What kind of strengths do you have? Well, I, I know, I know from experience and people that I hit generally go down, mm -hmm. you know, and anybody I hit generally goes for a takedown and stuff like that, you know, so I think of an advantage in the power. Right. I hit really hard for the flyway, I don't look, look, I hit hard, but I do hit hard, you know, and I'm always in a fight, yeah. I'm always still there, you know, whether they take me down, put me back for two and a, two and a half minutes, I get back to my feet, I'm still dangerous, you know. So you're looking for maybe a, a TKO or a KO? I think it's every, every fighter, mm -hmm. you know, that's what we all go out and try to do, you know, everybody wants a spectacular knockout. They don't want to be knocked out, but we all want spectacular stuff, but, you know, we'll just take on at this stage.
So in an ideal world, what would you predict as, a, as, to, as to win on Sunday? Do you live in an ideal world? I don't know. I like to I like to keep a positive mind, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it, how would you imagine it unfolding? It, you know, and and getting the finish. Do you know what we, we've said it loads of times before? We've no problem losing an exciting fight. Okay. We have a bad bad problem losing a boring fight, mm-hmm. and that's why I tend not to be in them. You know, if we go out and fight my fight and push the pace and it's exciting and I come away with a loss, so be it. You know, but I'd be really disappointed if I come away with a boring for you. Mm-hmm. You know, with no time for stuff like that. Okay, well, we're Didn't answer your question, but no, well, no, well, I know we're going to be in for a really exciting fight on Sunday. So uh, thank you for talking to us. Thank you. No problem. Thanks.